Hello everyone, this is Admiral Playrovsky wishing you a happy Easter Monday and bringing you some Atlantic Fleet and, well, coincidentally, a Shan Horse class battleship. Why do I say coincidentally? Well, it's because the single battle we'll be doing today is none other than Convoy HX-106, which features the Scharnhorst and Gneisenau. 8th of February 1941, Scharnhorst and Gneisenau encounter Convoy HX-106 from Halifax to Liverpool, but it is escorted by the battleship HMS Ramillies. The Germans have been ordered not to engage enemy capital ships. Historical outcome, German ships disengage. But, well... It's... I mean... You may have heard the saying that Dobby has no master, Dobby is a free elf. Well, we'll change that slightly and say that Admiral Playerovsky has no master. Admiral Playerovsky is a free admiral. I think you can probably guess where this is going. I think we're going to, well, we're going to um, ever so slightly, um, you know, um, ig ignore the orders a little bit, just a little bit, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit, that's what we'll do. We'll ignore them so slightly that they won't even know that we've ignored them, you know? Just a touch. So 14.6 is suggested. We will go to 14.7. Um, Come on, let's go 14.7. Fire. Long. Oh, very long. Now I'm thinking... How do we want to play this? Um, yeah, you go to flank and I only do a slight turn. I'm hoping we can still get, get all the guns onto the ram release. Might be a bit tricky, but I do hope we can yeah, we can. Oh, good job, good job. And apologies for that sound glitch. Yeah, let's do that. Fire. Oh, we didn't. Oh, no. We didn't. Oh. What happened here was... I didn't put any elevation on the guns. That's what's happened here. Oh, that's so embarrassing when that happens. Um, and this has happened far, far too often. This isn't the first time that's happened. Can we have a look at them? Can we see them together, perhaps? Yeah, we can, actually. Yeah, look at that. That's, that. That looks nice, doesn't it? You've got the um, guys now here. Scharnhorst over here. If we zoom out maybe a little bit, so we can sort of catch them like that, maybe. Yeah, not bad at all. I'm dithering, though. I'm dithering. I'm d distracted. I'm distracted. We have a sea battle on our hands. Right, they're very kindly only using their rear turrets, so that, that makes our task considerably easier. They've already halved their effective armament. And if we can damage their propulsion and steering, then what that will mean is that they will pretty much not be able to get all their guns in. Fire! Good. That's good, we like that. Let's go over here. Any damage, perhaps? No. 
Can't, can't be damaging a battleship that easily. Right, naught. This time, put some elevation on the guns. Let's just check. Right, so an elevation of 0, 0.0 degrees. Was, they're saying it was really short. Let's just check on the map. Was it really short? Do I agree with that? Hmm. Uh, I mean, I, I guess if you really, really want to, you could say that was maybe just a little bit. Not enough elevation. Just a bit, though. It almost got there. <laughs> I am, of course, being sarcastic. It was, it was closer. The shells landed closer to the Gneiser now than they landed to the Ramillies. Imagine my shock and disbelief at that. Anyway, fire. Oh no 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 no! No, no, no. Stay away, stay away. Stay away. We don't want you to hit that. Hit us, you see. We do need to hurry up, though, because... This type of engagement is one where... Um, one where we can't just destroy, well, sink all the merchants quickly. Unlike in the Battle of the Atlantic, where you're given an option that just says... Um, sink all merchants and withdraw or something to that to that effect um here it's it's um well you have to go and sink the ships manually we're going for the turrets we're not giving up we're not giving up because these are 15 inch turrets which can actually cause us a lot of damage and send us under without, you know, too much regard for what we think about that. Fire! So we need to take them out. I mean, scoring hits. Oh, no, no, no! No, no. No, 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 no! No, they've turned. That's... It's it's bad that they've done it, but I suppose it's it's well kind of expected, I guess. In that case, then let's get a little bit nifty, as if we weren't being nifty already, and let's get some fires going. Fire! High explosive shells heading your way. Good. One more salvo like that from the Gneiser now, and I think the Ramillies may be in a spot of bother. Can we get those pumps damaged, maybe? Go on. Go on, go for the pumps. Go for the pumps. Uh, ah. Right, there we go. Oof. It's always a scary moment when they fire because they, the Ramillies is, is is potent as a as a ship. It may be old, but that doesn't mean it can't sink you if it wants to. And I've got a feeling that because they're because they're shooting at us and because they've even turned to bring their broadside to bear, they're interested in sinking us. So, 11.7 was long. Do I agree with that? Of course I agree with it. We were long. Let's try 11.1. Fire! Yeah, that's good, that's good. We like that. That's two fires. Shells fall short. That's good. We've not had a single hit on our ships yet. Honestly, whoever issued those those orders to say that oh you shouldn't engage the um, enemy capital ships, they should have put a put a um a what's it called small print saying does not apply to Admiral Playerovsky. <laughs> I am being a little bit, you know. Well, no, I mean, 
I'd like to think I'm justified in thinking this. I mean, look, look at the, the proportion of damage. We are all over them, and, and they've not hit us once. See, secondary explosions already, and, and, and we've got, well, the only damage we've got is from the rain. It, it's made the deck a little bit wet. But that'll dry out. And even if the rain is is very acidic and, you know, it, it, it peels away some of the paint, well, we can just go to harbour and get some grey paint. We'll sort it right out. Go on. Fire! They're gone. Oh, really? Already? Crikey! What did we hit? What did we hit that was so critical? Let's just take a look. Nothing really that important. I mean, propulsion and AAA with heavy damage. Forward spot and port secondaries with light damage, and they're sinking already, and they're sinking quickly as well. Because they're going under quickly, we'll we'll stay and watch them at least initially. We'll stay and watch them initially, and I'd like to point out here, the Ramelies did not land a single hit on the Scharnhorst, and it didn't land a single hit on the Gneisenau. I think um, I think I speak for everyone when I say that the AI did not do the Ramelies justice. And that's putting it very, very, very lightly. Come on, you'd think, you'd, you'd think that a battleship like this would be able to at least, well, at, at, at least score hits. No, they're sinking quite slowly now and we're still in the middle of battle. Right, so, Gneisenau, you will do Oh, you won't do anything. You will... Was that six salvos that we... Yes! Because that was naught. The terrible one that we... Butchered. So yeah, 12 salvos from the Scharnhorst and Gneisenau and the Ramelies is gone. Right, what we need to do now then is go for... Go for the merchants. So this one's at 22, 4, 7, 6, 24, 5, 0, 1, 25, 5, 2, 6. Right, we're going to go for the troop transport here. Suggested elevation of 17 degrees. We will go up to 16.8. Fire. So that was... That was miles away. They're running away. Ah, they're running, but they're not going to be able to, you know, to do this. They are going to be caught by the Scharnhorst and Gneiser now, and they'll be sunk. So, let's have a look. 23057, 23721, 23020. So you go for this troop transport ship. Suggested elevation of 15.6. I will go to 15.1. Fire. How's that looking? It, it's looking pretty terrible, actually. Oh, come on. Turn and give chase. Even though we probably... Oh my goodness, that's... That was rubbish! Even though we probably could just fire away from that distance. But, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd rather, you know... No, 14.7. Fire. That was rubbish. We were miles away. Right, so that's one of the ships that we found the range for. Oh, they're going to look so nice when they're side by side together. In fact, just to be a little bit petty, I might actually slow one of them down. Really? This is how far away we were? Oh my goodness. It, yeah, yeah, it would have been. 
It's literally miles away. We were closer to hitting the T2 tanker than the troop transport. Oh, the troop transport is sinking, it would seem. Um, all right. I'm going to try 17.5. Fire. That's a hit. 15 something. Don't be ridiculous. Harder starboard, so we will lose that rear turret at this point. Oh no, wait. No, no, because we've not selected a target. Right, so what we'll do then is we will go over here. So this one's being dealt with by the other one. How far away are you? 21395, 18493, uh, 16155, 2476, 16636, 17036. You're the one that's furthest away, aren't you? Right. I guess it's your turn to go under then. So if we have a look at the... Yeah, that's 147. So if I go... Oh, 15-1. Fire. Well, it was an effective hit, but it was still a hit. <laughs> I want to get both of them sort of in so that we can have like a, a really nice sort of sail by with the two of them and for no other reason then it'll just look really nice so 17.5 was there so if we go to say 17.7 fire because we're closing in as well so I'm a little bit hesitant on pushing it up enormously Yeah, let's have you go 15 degrees. And actually go backwards just this once. And there we go. 15-1 was right there. So if we go 15-4, fire. If we go 15-4, we will drop the shells right in front of them. That's not really what we were going for, was it? If we go over to the Gneiser now, can we... No, not really. What about the Scharnhorst? No, not yet. Not yet. Right, obviously we're not going to shoot at the Gneiser now. We're going to be shooting at this troop transport over here. Um, which we landed shots of in front of. Drop it to half. 17.2. By half a degree, I'd say, this time. Mm, not great, really, if I'm honest. Right, 15-4. Drop that down to 14-7. Fire. Go on. Seems fine. So, troop transport at 17.2. Do you know what? Let's go all the way to 16.1. Fire. Simply because we're closing in and we keep firing in front of them. I was going to say, so now we will fire behind them. Right. So, 14.7 was there. Drop it to 14.2. Fire. Oh, we've we hit the other freighter, but not the one that we wanted. We 
Right. Oh, we've hit the propulsion on this one, it would seem, and the steering, and we've doubly hit the AAA. Right, 16.1 was good. So if I go, say, 16.4, fire. It's just one hit. Right, they, they've stopped now. 14.2 was short, they're saying. Mm, Alright, let's go 14.5, maybe. Fine, I'll go 15.1. Shoot. But if this misses... If this misses now... No, it didn't miss. That's fine, then. It, that's fine. If we just go over to the Scharnhorst, um, hang on. I want to. I want to see if we can get a nice thumbnail here. Right. Would I say this is thumbnail quality? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit there. Right, there we go. Right, this will be the thumbnail, I think, for the video. Looking very nice. So, anyway, without further ado, let's continue firing away at this troop transport ship. So, 16.4 was there. I'm now saying it was a little bit long. Let's drop it to 15.6 then. Fire. Well, there we go. Right, you can go up to flank as well now, then. You were going for the troop transport as well. 15-1 um, was there. So if I have you go to 15-7... Fire. Hit. Yep, I tracked that shell all the way into the middle of the ship. Oh, just look at them. In all their glory and splendor, looking very nice. 15.6 was... where was 15.6? I can't quite see. No, it was right there, so if I go... This one's closing in. So if I go 15 exactly... Fire! This, this will hit? Will not hit? No, it will hit! It, it very much will. Yeah, 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 that's what it'll do. 15-7 was... Um, where was that? That was right there. So I reckon if we drop that down to 15-3... We'll score some more hits. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Now, why are they turning? Oh, troop transport's gone. So that means we need to shoot at someone else. Oh, but not that troop transport. This one's still here. Right, um, 15 degrees was good. So let's drop it to 14.3. Fire. Mm. 
this one's gone as well. How about that? Look at that, two ships sailing side by side like that. <laughs> Quite a nice spectacle really, isn't it, you know? Might be a bit noisy on board, but how far away are they actually? 600 meters away, well, yards. All right, I, I am willing to concede it'll be quite noisy on board. But at least it looks nice. 2581, 24253. Right, let's go. Yeah, let's go for this C3 freighter now. Although I am a bit tempted to go for this C2 freighter. Yeah, I'll go for the C2 freighter and then the other ship can go for the C3 freighter. Right, what was number two? Because number two was looked like it was going to be on target, perhaps. Number two was 14.7, and that was 15.3. Yeah, I'll try 14.7. Fire. I'll try 14.7. Sure. Yeah, a little, little, little bit. A little bit, potentially, slightly off but that's fine you know that's that's fine right you don't have a target you however have been doing a lot of work with this troop transport so you will go for this c3 freighter which looks like it's exactly um where well not exactly where the troop transport was but the elevation is going to be pretty much exactly what it was before so 14.3, we would have lowered it down to 12.6. I mean, 14.3, so 13... Go on, we'll, we'll do 13.7. Fire. I'd like to think this will be good. Yeah, two hits and a fire. I would say that's not bad. 14.7 was long, they're saying, and we've closed in a little bit as well. 14, 7, so I'll say 13, 3. Fine, 13, 1. Fire. Oh, we were short. We were a little bit short. I will check just, just in case. Yeah, we can't do it. We have to do it manually. All right. I mean, I, 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 I figured that that was the case, that we wouldn't be able to just, you know, sink them, um, sink them quickly. I mean, yeah, fair dues. Can't make it too easy now, can they? Right, so that's that one pretty much gone. It's still afloat, but there isn't much life left in that ship. 13-1. Where was 13-1? I don't... Oh, was that 13-1 here? Yes. So if we go to 13.7. We'll get them good. Alright, that's fine. That's fine as well. Keep on moving. So the C3 freighter is gone, the one that we were shooting at with the Scharnhorst. Yeah, they didn't want to do this again. So, who should we go for next? Let's go for the Liberty Freighter. And we'll say, what elevation should we say? This was 5, 13, 7. I'd say about 12, 6. R wait, what? Number 5 was... 13.7. I'll go 12.3. Fire. Alright. How's the C2 freighter looking? Not very healthy. Quite poorly. Um, 13.7 was there. I'll go 13-1. Fire. I'll 
I'm guessing they're going to be gone soon as well. Right, you carry on. Now, we were really long, they're saying, according to, to the spotters. So let's go down to 10.5. Fire. Because we're closing in as well, so we have to take account, take account of that as well. Right, just a little bit short on that one. Yeah, I'd say... Oh, 12.6. Oh, actually, that might not be enough. No, we did score some hits. All right. I was thinking we would have been short, perhaps, with that one. You move forward. 10 to 5. Let's say 9.9 .9 this time. Fire. No, we were even more short this time. Right. Can't be, you know, can't be overdoing it with the... Adjusting for your speed. So 12.6 was over here. Let's try 11.9. Fire. Yep, that's the C2 freighter sunk. Right, this time we're going to make no changes. Fire. No, all right. Oh, wow. Crikey. Already. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. They've gone under quickly. Right. So who are you shooting at? You're constantly finding, finding new targets because you keep sinking the ones that I give you. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that that's, um, that's just how it is. All right. We'll go for the T2 tanker now. Number six was right on the money, actually. Right on target. 11.9. Um, I would say, then, if we drop it to 11.2. Fire. We'll score some hits. Yes. Yes, we have. Good. And you've also sunk your target, it would seem. Yeah, one shot for the Liberty Freighter sent it under straight away. So we'll now switch to this large freighter here. Because they're roughly on the same... Yeah. So if I go to 9-1... Fire! Can we score some hits? How about three? I'll take three hits. Right, um, 11.3 was good. So let's go down to 10.5. Fire. A little bit short, perhaps. Let's keep going. Actually, we could turn at this point, perhaps, to unleash broadsides. Yeah, I guess we could, maybe. Fire. Alright, that's fine. Um, what are we at? 10.4. So let's drop down to 10 exactly. Fine, I'll go 9.9 just to be a little bit... Actually, no, 101. 10.1, there we go. Fire. Yeah, they're not gonna they're not they're gonna they're not gonna be around for much longer. They're trying to, but it's 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 a bit bit of a hopeless task really, isn't it? Eight point four, let's only drop down to eight point one this time. Fire. That's got the large freighter. Right, 10.1, let's go down to 9.6. Fire. So that's the T2 tanker gone. 
How many ships are left? Is it just two? No, it's just one. One more large freighter. Oh, how about that? We've got one more large freighter to sink and then it's all over. Do we have any information perhaps on what elevation to use? Not really now. We've got a number three over here, which was 9.8. Should we say 9.8 then? Because we have come forward since. They're saying 9.1. I'll go 9.3 then, just to compromise a little bit between them. Fire. Yeah, 9-1 would have been a bit better, or even in the 8s, potentially. 8.9, 8.8, maybe. Right, you've sunk your target as well. So you go for the large freighter as well. The final ship. Do we have any indication for what would be good for you? Yes, perfect. 9.6 was right here. So I reckon 9.1 will be devastating. Or 8.9. No, we'll go 9.1. Fire. Yeah, it it was. Yeah, a big explosion, and they are their propulsion's damaged. So we overshot quite a bit. So let's go down to I'll even say 8.1 or 8.3. I'll say 8.1. Fire. That's a follow-up. Yeah, move forward and pretty much um, finish the job at this point. You've got them. They, they, there's no way they can get away. Fire. Yeah, large freighter is sinking. Everything damaged? Everything damaged. Propulsion, steering, pumps, heavy damage, AAA destroyed. Quickly or slowly? How are they sinking? Well, they're sinking quite quickly. So let's stay and watch. See, I know it says, I know the orders were don't engage ca enemy capital ships, but they'll never know. They'll never know. Because we didn't, we didn't get a single scratch. We don't even have to get the grey paint out. Well, unless the rain's a bit too acidic, but... I can just blame it on the rain. <laughs> blame it on the rain and say it was a little bit acidic where we were. From all that air pollution. And they'll never know. Alright, they've pretty much stopped. Let's hop over. Got the guys now here, the Sharnhurst over here. Yeah, there we go. Done. Action report on the British side. The battleship Ramillies was sunk for 29,150 tons. Whew, better take a deep breath for this one. Um, merchant ship T2 tanker sunk for 22,500 tons. Uh, merchant ship C2 freighter sunk for 5,500 tons. Uh, merchant ship C3 freighter sunk for 8,000 tons. Uh, one, two, three merchant ship troop transports sunk for 12,400 tons each. Two merchant ship large freighters sunk for 8,700 tons. And one merchant ship Liberty freighter sunk for 14,300 tons. On the German side, the battleships Scharnhorst and Gneisenau have received no damage. Nothing at all. Nothing. Completely nothing. A score of 134,050. Very good. Amazing engagement. So, um, happy Easter Monday. Um, if you enjoy my content, leave a like and subscribe. If you have a custom battle suggestion, leave a comment below and I will get right to it. Um, I thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Uh,